Hey everyone, it's Rosie and in this video I'm going to share my recipe for beef stew. This is really easy. There is plenty room for alternatives and substitutions if you want, so let's get started. Let's start off with our meat that is regular beef stew meat. I have some peas and carrots which is frozen, but I'll also be using some fresh carrots as well as celery and leeks. Here is my large yellow onion. I have lots of seasoning, basil, rosemary, lots of stuff in there. And here are my tomatoes. I'm using canned tomatoes. I also have some mushrooms. If you don't like mushroom or anything else that I'm using, leave it on out. I have my beef stock, garlic, and I also have my potatoes. So the first thing I did was I washed everything. Oh, by the way, here is some flour and I'll explain why the flour is optional now. So what I'm going to start off by doing is I'm going to brown my meat. I'm using flour to coat the meat and it actually helps the juices thicken while it cooks. However, if you want, you can just add cornstarch, which is what I will be doing later on, but for some reason, I like to use both, okay? So you can use one or the other, or you can use both like I'm using. So I drizzled in some vegetable oil in this pan. I turned it up to medium, and now I'm cooking the meat. As you can see, I'm browning it, and it has a nice little crust on the outside. I removed the meat once it starts to brown, and as you see, all that crust at the bottom, that's all flavor, so we're not going to get rid of it. What we're going to do now is pour in the beef stock. So that's kind of why I like to use the flour, but again, it is optional. The heat is still on medium. I tossed in the meat and then I turned the heat off. And as you can see, I washed and chopped up all of the veggies. Let's start adding all of the vegetables into our crock pot here, or you can use any slow cooker that you may have. I'm just going to start off by adding the leeks, the celery, and the, um, tomatoes not the tomatoes yet but you can add the tomatoes now but I have my carrots mushrooms and onions in there and now I'm going to head over to my stovetop and get the meat and beef stock that we prepared earlier just pour that on in there and now I'm going to add in my tomatoes so once all that is in there we're going to add the rest of our other ingredients let's toss in the potatoes and if you want to add more stuff to your stew, you certainly can. If you want to leave some of this out, you can do that as well. I'm going to sprinkle in the peas and carrots, and I also added in my garlic. So once that's in there, I'm going to sprinkle in my seasoning. It's garlic, seasoning, salt or salt free seasoning, rosemary, a pinch of oregano, and some other stuff. Give everything a nice stir, and now we're going to let this cook in our slow cooker on high for three hours. So after three hours, this is what it looks like. Now, if you want, and that if that's thick enough for you, you can leave it as is. It wasn't thick enough for me, so I'm going to dish out some of the broth or the beef stock. I'm going to place it in this cup here, and then I'm going to start adding in a couple tablespoons of cornstarch. So this is why I said you did not have to use the flour earlier. Um, it's a habit of mine, so that's why I use it. So hey, you can use it or you don't have to. So just whisk everything in. Now we're going to pour that back into our slow cooker. And then you're just going to give everything a stir or a nice mix or a flip. That's really what I'm doing with the spatula. And let it sit for about five to 10 minutes. And after that time frame, you are ready to dig in. As you can see, this is really, really easy. The exact measurements and everything can be found on my blog, iHeartRecipes.com. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube and follow me on Instagram as well.